Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Wanted to do a follow-up to a blog I did a couple of years ago on uh, what it takes to dissolve a strata in the province of British Columbia. So in that blog I did a few years back, I told you I had attended a luncheon, uh, and I attend one of these every year, uh, where the president of the BC Homeowners Association, Tony Giovento, uh, did a, a little talk on the current state of the BC uh, 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 Strata Act and some changes that he foresaw coming down the road. So the big one, uh, two years back that he mentioned, was the uh, changing of the vote that it's gonna need to take of the approval to dissolve a strata. By dissolving a strata, I mean is where all the owners get together and they sell the entire condominium complex or townhouse complex to a developer. So everybody sells out their unit at one shot. Now, right now, currently, uh, it takes a 100% unanimous vote to dissolve a strata in the province of British Columbia. Everyone has to vote yes to the developer's uh, proposal to sell every unit. So as we all know, getting a 100% resolution is pretty much impossible. I had talked about in my blog a couple years ago how there's been a number of these uh, situations that have come up over the years. Some of it ended up in Supreme Court. You know, the, the situation is, is these older complexes, uh, a lot of remediation work has to get done, new roofs, new windows, new balconies. Some of these owners are facing forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 assessments. A white knight comes in, a developer, and says, I will buy out the entire complex and I will give you 150% of your assessed value. That then needs to take a vote. They have to call a special general meeting. You need a 100% unanimous decision. So there's been many cases where there's always going to be a few holdouts. Um, and then in some cases, that's gone to Supreme Court, where the owners uh, that have voted, let's say, 95% want to dissolve it. The 5% that hold out, they go to court, Supreme Court. Their thing is, is that, you know, I wouldn't be able to buy something in the same neighborhood for what the developer is giving me. It goes on and on. But in every case, usually that I know of, the court has uh, upheld the 5% or the 3% that didn't want to sell. So it's very difficult to get these approved. However, uh, at that time, Tony Giovento had said that they were going to be uh, tabling new legislation that was going to go from a unanimous vote down to 80%. Only 80% would have to vote to dissolve the strata to get it approved. So in the uh, Vancouver Sun a couple weeks ago, I, I just read an update on it. It sounds like this is getting very close to getting passed. It sounds like it's gone through the first reading. And according to this article, it looks like uh, this new legislation could be passed as early as next spring, 2016. That, uh, so you won't need a unanimous vote anymore. You'll only need 80%. So this is going to be really interesting going down the road. Um, at, at the current time, there are over 2,500 strata complexes in the province of British Columbia that are over 45 years of age or older. So there is a lot of aging stratas out there. And where this dissolving of strata is going to come in, there's a number of situations, but a lot of these older stratas are sitting in absolute prime real estate, grade A locations. I've blogged about this in the past as well, how a lot of the new developments now are moved on to B and even grade C locations because all the grade A stuff was built decades ago. So they're all sitting, a lot of them anyways, are sitting in prime uh, locations in the city of Vancouver, city of Richmond. Uh, a lot of them are very low density. Uh, I know of a complex over here in West Richmond that I do a fair bit of work in. 400 units, uh, over eight buildings, uh, three-story wood frame. It's sitting on over 14 acres of land. Now, uh, we're talking football field size uh, 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 park areas in this complex. I mean, if that were ever to get rezoned, uh, I mean, they could easily build three or four times the number of units and still have it uh, comfortably spread out on this parcel of land. So um, the other situation, of course, these aging condos uh, and townhouse complexes, strata complexes, you know, if they're getting up to 45, 50, 60 years old, you know, everything wears out, as I blogged about before, boilers, elevators, the lobbies need to be upgraded, roofs have to be upgraded every 20 years, the, the, uh, the uh, framing, the siding. 
So, you know, it's going to be interesting moving forward. A lot of these older complexes are coming up to major rejuvenating work that has to be done. Uh, siding repairs and roofs and windows and balconies and these can easily run fifty sixty thousand dollars per owner uh, now that the depreciation reports are mandatory more and more stratas are getting them um, they're starting to spell out all the work that's going to need to be done you know eventually it gets to a situation where it's a 60 year old building do we really want to spend forty thousand dollars rejuvenating this complex Maybe it's better off just to sell it to a developer and if we can get the right price for it, and that's what's going to be the interesting part. What is the right price for it? Um, you know, I've heard of strat uh, developers that have offered 150 to 200 percent of assessed value and still had people holding out. That was back when you needed it unanimous. Moving forward when you only need 80 percent, what is that magical price? And that's going to be the fun part to see. Uh, there's going to be some people, of course, that think 150% of assessed value, I'm willing to take it. Other people, of course, are going to say 150% isn't enough. I want 200 or 250% of my assessed value. I just spent $20,000 on a reno doing my bathroom and kitchen. But it's going to be interesting moving forward now that you need this 80% threshold as opposed to unanimous. And it's another thing for people to consider when you're buying a, a condo. How much land is it sitting on? The age of it? Is there potential down the road that I buy this unit and maybe 10 years from now a white knight will come in and offer me two times my assessed value and I'll sell it out? So it'll be interesting moving forward, but uh, it looks like this law is uh, getting ready to be uh, come down and the change to the Strata Act uh, where only 80% will be needed to uh, vote to dissolve a Strata. I'm Owen Big One. As always, I'll see you next time.